Let's make some resources. Why would we want to put a custom resource inside of another custom resource? Hey, I'm not judging, but there's a lot of reasons. Let's start with one simple example. We want to be able to represent dialogue and choices for a visual novel or RPG, and we don't want to write all of that text in code. And we don't want to maintain it in code. We want to create a tree, a dialogue tree. And let's think about how a dialogue tree might be structured. Think about tree, tree. By tree, of course, I mean a tree built out of nodes and edges that go between the nodes. Don't get confused by the term node. We're not talking about Godot nodes. We're talking about nodes, which we're going to implement as resources here. The nodes will represent um, the main co content of a dialog box and the edges will be the choices and where those choices lead. So I'll create two resources here for dialog node and dialog edge. In Node, we'll have the main text and an array that links up all the edges. In the future, we probably want to let these nodes trigger some sort of effects such as quests or to add items to your inventory, etc. But we'll come back to that. For each edge, we'll have a string that shows up as the choice in the dialog box, plus the dialog node resource that tells us what node we go to next if we pick this edge. In a more complex project, we may want to include conditionals here to hide or lock these choices behind game progression, character abilities, etc. But we'll leave that one out for now. <laughs>